Welcome and welcome back to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger and I'm here to do a love reading for the sign of Pisces. Happy birthday, Pisces. I've already shuffled the deck. I just cut it. So let's get into it. I hope everybody's enjoying their birthday though. Enjoy and happy St. Patty's Day because it is March the 17th. Happy St. Patty's Day to everyone who celebrates the holiday. And you guys be safe out there, okay? Enjoy and be safe. The overall energy for this reading is the star, which means that's your wish. That's your wish card or someone's healing. Okay, let's get a couple of cards. This is a general reading, so we'll take what resonates and leave the rest, Pisces. The Ten of Pentacles, overall contentment. Somebody's having a wonderful birthday. <laughs> birthday season. <laughs> okay. Until that one to come out in reverse. What the what? Wait a minute. The Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's putting in some work. Okay. I think the world in reverse is some sort of... Okay. I think that's telling me to be quiet because that just popped me all in my face. So I'm going to wait till we get some clarifiers. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Swords moving forward. To calmer waters, the eight of wands is uh, messages coming in quick and fast, okay? And it also could be messages of love. We, um, let me see what's at the bottom of the deck. The nine of cups, almost completing a cycle, okay? Or a project or something, okay? Why is the ten of pentacles here for the Pisces collective? Keep in mind that this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. Pisces. Okay, give me one more, please. The Ten of Wands and the Knight of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles talks about uh, contentment in all areas of your life. Work, job, family, all that. But somebody's holding on to some burdens. With the Ten of Wands. And then the Knight of Swords. I'm sorry. I'm not putting it together. Let me look at the Knight of Swords real quick. I'm only human. Okay. Okay, great. Okay. So, let me see what else the Ten of Pentacles is talking about. Because what I'm seeing is that you guys um, are holding on to some some burdens. And with the Knight of Swords, it's telling you to let them go. Yeah, abundance in all, 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 all parts of your life. Gain and riches. That's what the Ten of, Ten of Pentacles talks about. In family matters. Domestic harmony. Life is stable and settled. Security and deep commitment, right? But you're holding on to some burdens. And you're being told to be brave. And put those burdens down. I don't know your life, but I know that's what it's saying. Okay, let's keep going. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I'm still learning my reversals, so let me just take a peek here. The Wheel of Fortune upright is the soulmate's card. Good luck, all that. In reverse is bad luck, negativity, it's negative, increase, abundance, okay? So it's bad luck and negative. And then it's also increase in abundance. Let's get a clarifier. Learning karmic lessons is telling you to go with the flow. Yeah, you're learning something from your past. And you're being told to, to, to go with the flow. Okay? Good stuff. 
Okay, Eight of Pentacles. What is the Pisceans working on? The Eight of Pentacles is all about putting in the work, getting the job done. The Knight of Wands. Okay, you're moving forward fiercely, okay, to accomplish your goals, okay? The Knight of Wands. Uh, Six of Swords. Why is this here for the Piscean Collection? Why is six of swords here for Pisces? Okay, thank you. The King of Wands. One more, please. <laughs> that is not what that means. <laughs> that is not what that means. Okay, some just says say it. Okay, here it is. The Six of Swords talks about moving from uh, rough water waters to calm waters, right? Well, being clarified by the King of Wands, which is the, like the player card, right? And then the Two of Pentacles is talking about juggling or being happy. That's where your happiness is. <laughs> Forgive me, Pisces. Give me a minute. <laughs> Give me a minute. Let me go look at this King of Wands real quick. I want to make sure I'm not mixing the two up. Okay. Yeah, I thought the King the King of Wands was the one who was married. Wait a second. Hold on a second. Yeah, generally married. Okay, so you may be moving from calm waters to, to um from Hector Waters to happy family life, to, to getting married. And having joy because the Two of Pentacles talks about juggling or joy. Unless, you know, you know your story, Pisces. Unless you like to juggle, you know, you could be a swinger. I don't know. this. I don't know your story. It's, 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 it's a billion people on this planet. And that might bring you joy. To be with uh, multiple people. Ooh. Let me look at something real quick. Hold on a second. Let's look at the Knight of Wands. Because I know the Knight of Wands is, to me, that's the whore of the day. This one here. Immature change of, res change of residence. Okay, departure. Oh, you're working to depart. And you're going to depart. Oh. And this is also, it is the horror of the deck, though. A big flirt. Don't care. But it, it, on landing on top of that Eight of Pentacles, that's exactly getting things done and finishing what you started. And taking risks. You're working hard at putting together something. You should be feeling fearless and brave at this time while you're putting in this work and making all these moves. Good stuff. And then, then you're going to move away out of this uh, business state, it looks like, here. Climbing the corporate ladder or something. And then you're going to move into a calmer where you get a routine together and stuff. I need one more clarifier for the Six of Swords. I, I just want, I'm just curious. Please. Thank you. Yeah, you're standing in your power. You're standing in your power with the Page of Swords. Definitely. So you're moving forward and you're right in, you're where you want to be. You're looking good. You're about your business with the King of Wands. And you're happy. You're happy. Let me just double check the two of pentacles. Make sure I'm, I'm not missing some other meanings. Yeah. You're trying to balance yourself. 
You're moving forward to a calm waters after putting in all this work. You're moving to some calmer waters. You're going to be in some in, in some partnerships. Either some partnerships or um Or you're trying to balance everything. But I think that this is you moving to a calmer place in your life. And you it's, it's like everything is going the way you planned it. And you're happy. And sitting in your power. In your position in life. This is supposed to be a love reading. Eight of Wands. Which is all about love. <laughs> Yes, you know your story. Eight of Wands. Can I get a clarifier for the Eight of Wands, please? For the Piscean Collection. It's their birthday. Justice. Okay, so a message of love could be coming in from a Libra. Can you guys see that? Could be coming in from a Libra. Yeah, or a message can be coming in from the legal system. Let's get another clarifier. How about that? Let's get another clarifier. Is this a business message or is this a message coming in of love? I think it is a legal matter here. Because your love reading just went straight to business. I'm not. But you're going to get everything you wish for. The Nine of Pentacles. You're single. So that's telling me that no, this is not about a relationship. Because Nine of Pentacles is a single energy. So what you're going to have some great news coming in. Um, maybe a whole bunch of job offers or something are going to be coming in. That's going to give you some balance. That's going to help you with this juggling act that you're doing. That you're just going to give you some balance. So that you're not running so hectic and heavy. Working so hard. Wow. What an interesting reading. So. Uh, so what I get from that is. Look at the king of pentacles. It's, it's going to be a couple of years. So just take your time. I am sorry that your reading did not come out as a love reading. This is a really, this is a business reading. Your overall, uh, uh, the overall energy of this reading, because I asked for a love reading and it, it, it didn't produce that, um, the overall energy to start is talking about healing. And I tell you why. Because this Ten of Pentacles is all about everything in your life being beautiful, right? Family, work, everything is great, okay? When I clarified it, I got burdens and running away, basically. So after going through this whole reading, I understand that this means your life, this this relationship, family, that whole idea, you're being told to put it down. It's not time yet. Pisces, it's telling you it's not time yet to focus on you're looking at the past. You're putting an end to reminiscing about something from the past with the Wheel of Fortune here, clarified by the Six of Cups. It's telling you so put that idea of the, of the family and stuff, put that on the back burner right now. It's not time. They're telling you to put that burden down with the Ten of Wands and move forward with that Knight of Swords. Become very, put the, forget about that past of uh, reminiscing and stuff. Don't think about that. Put an end to it. The Eight of Pentacles, clarified by the Knight of Wands, is saying... Go be fearless and, 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 and go conquer the world. 
Look at this. You see that, that see that the building in the back? That's the world back there. It's telling you to go conquer the world. You're putting in that word to go conquer the world. Be fearless and go for that. Wow. This is actually a great reading. Okay. So here we are. Over here with the Six of Swords. You're moving to calmer waters after you've done your healing. You, you worked, you kept yourself busy, kept up the work. And you're healing. Okay. Once you get through that, that healing, moving forward, sitting in your power, looking good, trying to balance everything out. But you sit in your power. You're stable. <clears throat> Messages coming in with eight of wands. This, this, I'm sorry, this is just a wonderful reading. It, un, un, unfortunately, you're being told to, to release the idea of uh, marriage and go after your paper. Um, messages of closure. Should I do that one? Because there's obviously a breakup here. Um, yeah, Piscean Collective. Messages of uh, closure. I'm sorry, I got lost in this reading. Yes, 16 minutes. Okay. I like how that came together. Here. Let's get a clarifier. Um, I mean, let's get some messages for the Piscean Collective. Oh, sometimes I didn't know what to do. Oh, that was already flipped up. Okay. I said sometimes I didn't know what to do. Okay. This this is messages messages of closure. I'm going to draw a couple. Um, this should be coming from your person, whoever you broke up with when you was planning that, that family life. It might be coming from the last person, okay? Towards Pisces, the Piscean energy, okay? Let's see what this one says. I was uncomfortable showing emotion. So you was uncomfortable showing emotion, Pisces? Maybe your other person didn't make you feel comfortable enough to talk to them about things that you really wanted to talk about. Maybe they made you, uh, they was like, oh, you whine too much, you whine too much. Or maybe they was like, mm, uh, you weak. You know, women tear down men too. So we, we know all about this. Okay. Anything else for the Piscean Collective? Yeah, maybe you was tearing your person down. They said they was uncomfortable showing emotion to you, Pisces. Anything else from the messages of closure? Thank you, Father. Thought I seen some flip over right here. Okay. I am with you all the time. Only you know what that means. I don't know your life. Please don't blame yourself. Yep. So they's telling you not to blame yourself. And they, I'm with you all the time. Pisces. Maybe they think about you all day. Okay. Do you still feel my presence? Okay. Let's get something from the Hidden Truth Oracle. Or should I get you some advice at this time? Let me get you some advice from this time. Yeah, because you're being told to go ahead and let this go. I want to get some advice from the goddess. The African goddess rising oracle this is such a beautiful deck this is the longest reading i've done tonight i believe it was worth it this is i like the way that, that came together 
Okay. That's just for the Piscean Collective regarding this reading. Message for the Piscean Collective regarding this reading. Piscean Collective regarding this reading. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see. Secrets were revealed. Okay. So someone's secrets came out. Okay. And wounded healer. Okay. So you may be a healer. And you're wounded. You know, and you're going to delve, dive yourself into, you're going to dive yourself into uh, your work. And it's going to work out for you. You're going to go after your bag. That's what I'm seeing here, Pisces. Like, share, subscribe. If you enjoyed this reading, I put out weeklies and weekend reads. And sprinkle a couple other reads in there when I can. Okay? If you like my style, please come back and visit me again. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with this, Pisces. You guys take care.